the fish tank guys store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Finally moved my 33 inch long African lung fish into his new home. Ah, that was heart racing. I was moving them in the prior video and um, at the ending I dropped him. He got so wiggly at the ending I got scared that he might bite me. Like reach back like an alligator snapping turtle and try to bite me or something. I dropped him at the last moment. I feel so bad. He's recuperating right now from that drop. But um, this is his brand new home. He's living in here with some ballast sharks. These ballast sharks better hurry up and grow up. I don't want them to become filet mignon to my African lungfish. But yes, my African lungfish, brand new home. I'm sorry, I'm wobbling with the camera. In my room divider tank. Now he's been in a lot of different tanks the last couple years. I actually adopted him five years ago this month, June. The previous owner owned them for nine years, and when he got them, he was pretty small. And um, he had them. I mean, when he got them, he was so small, about three inches long, that we're we're presuming he might have been about a year old already. So his birthday is this month. Fifteen years old, African lung fish, prehistoric fish that hasn't evolved in so many millions of years. A lot of people say he looks like an eel. He has, I tell people eels don't have legs. This African lungfish has four legs. Some people say, I had one guy a couple weeks ago insisted, he swore up and down, this was a snakehead. Because he does have a face like a snakehead. And I told him he's not a snakehead. Oh, this guy just kept insisting that he knew his stuff. This is a snakehead. I said, snakeheads don't have legs. They kept insisting, yeah, but snakeheads can walk out of land. So yes, they can. They can sliver on land, but they still don't have legs like the lungfish has. So finally he gave in and admitted he was wrong. And okay, you're right, yeah, okay, yeah. So on and so on. So anyways, he is going to get a lot of attention in this tank. Um, he was previously in my 120-gallon window tank. And Bubba here, my adopted giant guami, after them being together for like eight months, seven months, Bubba started bullying him. And you might have seen in the prior YouTube video that uh, my lungfish jumped out and was on the floor overnight. But he made it. Bubba wanted this window tank all to himself. Hi, Bubba. Bubba loves following the hand. So now Bubba's brand new tank mates are six albino tinfoil barbs, a schooling fish. Those are his new tank buddies. Bubba don't pay no mind to them. We'll see when they get bigger. And the lungfish for about a good month and a half was residing and this little 40 gallon breeder that little bit of space so but it was fine he's you know it was okay excuse me um but yeah hey go mr lungfish people always ask me what's his name and i just call him mr lungfish i never gave him an actual name mr lungfish in my 100 gallon room divider tank Let me, um, bear with me. Let me get something to get my lungfish to move because I want him to be spread out. You can see how long he looks in this tank. 33 inches long. Let me just pack him a little bit here. Get him to straighten out. Come on. I want to see your length. I want to see all 33 inches. <laughs> oh, you're being stubborn. 
There we go. Look at that. 33 inches. This tank measure is approximately five feet long. Look at him. Say hello, Mr. Lungfish. Say hello. Hey, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell alert to get alerts when I post other cool, interesting fish happenings like this here at the Fish Tank Guys store in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell alert. Share with your friends. Mr. Lungfish, there you go. Go up, go up. Every half hour or so, he comes to the top. Gets a gulp of air. Ah, look at that. Did y'all see that? I don't know if I got that good. Gets a gulp of air and then sinks, sinks back down and lets the, lets the air out. Bubbles bubbles come out. That's what he does. About every half hour or so, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, he's checking out his new environment. He loves this log. He likes going inside of it, coming out the other side. That's like his toy. So, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of people want to inquire and want to buy that, that piece of log that fake looking log and I'm like no it's not for sale it's his toy so pretty cool anyways thanks for watching thanks for watching the fish tank guys store here in Philadelphia Pennsylvania today I hope to get this project done um, 155 gallon bow front reef ready. I got all the parts for it because this tank was donated to me a few months ago. It was previously set up salt water and I, I want to set it up salt water again. So hopefully today I got some help. Giovanni is coming by, one of my helpers. I, you know, he gets paid for helping, of course, but that's my young strong backs that I call to carry heavy stuff. And um, yeah, today we hope to. Finally, hook up the plumbing, hook up the wet dry filter, finish cleaning it, and hopefully it'll be up and running today. Look at that. This is gonna be a hundred and, this is a 155 gallon bow front, six foot long tank. This will be set up salt water soon. This is gonna be awesome when people walk in there's like practically no salt water stores in Philadelphia. Um, there's only one existing one, but um, and I haven't been there in a while, so I don't know what their, you know, what their selection of salt water or anything is. But um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool when people come in, the kids and stuff, and see Nemo swimming around and Dory and you know whatever other cool fishes I'm going to have in here. Yep. This is going to be exciting, salt water. And of course, everything is for sale if the price is right. People have been inquiring on this tank for the last couple of weeks asking. And, you know, I tell them I don't really want to sell it, but, you know, I throw a number at them. If they want it bad enough, then that's what I want. If not, then just leave it alone. Let, let it sit here. Let me enjoy it. Set up salt water. Anyways, just want to share this real quick. Some future happenings here at the Fish Tank Guy store in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. Oh, Mr. Longfish just came up with some more air. We missed it. <laughs>